Hey everybody, it is Monday. It's been a while since this actual day. It's Wednesday for me editing this episode. Yeah, sorry for the delays, guys. But, uh, yeah. I'm hitting the streets, delivering some food, looking around. Always neat. Yeah. Some, uh, lots of development going on. Gotta put up those big new buildings. Yeah. Anyways. What am I even doing here, guys? Egg club? <laughs> yeah. Delivering this around. By this church. Huge lineup. It's uh, election day. Last day you could vote. Definitely seems like a lot of people uh, waited until the election day, which uh, maybe that's good. Oh yeah, Uber's doing a weird thing. I was like, where's this Indian roadie place? The map just wasn't updating. I actually like wound up uh, at Young Street before I figured out that I should turn around. But yeah. What was I saying? Something about the elections. Yeah, you know, big lineups, those suckers, should have voted earlier, unless you were one of those areas where, like, your candidate got kicked out, and then what? I don't know, for your advanced voters, a little bit screwed over if you voted for them. But anyways, did my last delivery, it was kind of in my neighborhood, saw this weird, like, egg chair. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Obviously, I'm not going to take that because, like, why? But just a neat thing to see on the side of the road. But anyways, I'm at home now. And, uh, yeah. Little rainbow, chilling. I think uh, I was about to go in and then I heard him yelling behind me. I guess I passed him in the alleyway and didn't notice. And I opened my window and let him uh, chill out inside for a bit. He's a pretty good cat. But yeah, eventually I put him back outside where he belongs. So I made uh, $71 for about three hours out there. And then uh, I had bought some stuff on Wish a while ago. And I was supposed to pick it up from the store, but I feel like the store is closed permanently because when I went to pick it up it, I don't know they weren't open they were supposed to be open also it's like one of those weird stores you know those kind of stores that you're like how's that ever stay in business but anyways Matt came down he wants to uh, go to Kensington we did a live stream a live stream walk. I'll probably link that for you guys in the description. The VOD will be up for a little while. I don't know how long VODs last on Twitch, but it was cool. We walked through uh, Kensington and uh, Matt's on his quest for cheese. Wanted to go to Cheese Magic, but they were closed. Instead, we went to Global Cheese just around the corner. And uh, yeah, it smells like cheese in here. Yeah, he got some raclette, and then, uh, yeah, we walked pretty much just back to my place, some fire engines going by. Yeah, it was a good walk. I feel like it's been a while since I uh, hung out with Matt, so it's good to catch up. And he gets to see Rainbow a little bit. You know, everybody likes seeing Rainbow. But yeah, he's just biking on home. And I wasn't really sure what I was going to do for the rest of the night. Probably would have just chilled, but... You know, might as well go watch the election results with Adam and Don. Also picked up a pizza on my way over. Still, more people in line to vote. This is at like 7.30, I'm like, damn. 
I guess if uh, this was the time you had to vote, like, better late than never. And then again at the, uh, the shoe museum. Sort of a long line here. Yeah. Definitely glad that I voted earlier. When I only had to wait for like three people to vote in front of me. So yeah. Still gonna be a while until we see some actual results. So. While we had it on a live stream in the background. We also watched uh... I think we watched an anime, played some video games. Yeah, Adam and Don, they've been working on a Game Boy Jam game. Just a, a dungeon crawl. Seemed kind of cool. But yeah. Later into the night there, projecting a minority liberal government. Which is uh, pretty much what we had last, last election, so does it seem like there's gonna be uh, that big of a deal? I don't know. We're looking at the zones and stuff where like this kind of seems like a little bit bullshit. But whatever. And uh, yeah, it was late so I went home and Thank continued to watch some of the coverage. You are sending us back to work with a clear mandate to get Canada through this pandemic and to the brighter days ahead. And my friends, that's exactly what we are ready to do. His party won two years ago. Uh, Mercedes Stevenson, I, I mean, I was struck. I wondered honestly off the top whether he was watching the same results that we yeah. were watching when he said he now has a clear mandate. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, it was, so so why, why did he call an election then? Because he said he needed a clear mandate. And he ended up exactly where he started. Yeah, I mean, this this is the speech you normally would initiate if you'd won a majority, that you got a clear mandate. Instead, Canadians told him he has a mandate to work with other parties. He has a mandate to govern, but not alone and not without negotiations. So, yeah, looking at the final results now that I'm a couple days in the future, it seems like the Liberals have gained a seat. Yeah. But also conservatives gained two seats, so it's like, is this what you really wanted, liberals? NDP also gained a seat. Really, just the Green Party and the Independents a little bit got screwed over. Locked up a claw, though. Those bastards. Uh, whatever, though. I guess it's just uh, another, what, four years of the same? Same old shit. Nothing's actually going to change, guys. Also, if you voted conservative, a little bit fuck you. Like, actually. What's wrong with you? Stop.